we are just going to be using it to generate a random number. And then we are going to generate a random number with a upper and a lower bound as well. So to do this, first thing that we're going to do um, before we do any of this is make an instance of our random class. It's going to be random. We can call it whatever we want. I'm just going to call the R here. We can set it equal to a new random parentheses, and then we can end this line. We're going to have to hover over and import random. Java.util.random is going to be imported. And now we can use this. So if we look at our Java doc, and if we were to hover over this, we could see all the information about the random class. Now, what we can do from here, and this is not all the information, this is just a brief kind of overview. From here, if we want to see the different methods or functions that are in this class, we can do r dot, and then all these different things are gonna come up. If we hover over it, we can look at all of them. We're just interested in getting the next random integer. So all we're gonna do is do r dot next, and we want to find next int right here. And if we are to do this, it's going to return a random integer. So from here, if we want to print this out, instead of writing this in here, uh, we could store this. So this would be in an integer, obviously, because it's of type int. But instead of uh, storing it, we'll just do a sys out. And then instead of here, we will print the next integer. So the x is to be printed. If we were to run this, look at the console, this is the number that we get. If we run it again, we're going to get another random number and we keep running it, it's going to get random numbers. So after we run it, we can see that we have all these numbers. But what if we want to restrict this? Well, if we want to restrict this, instead of printing out some huge random number like this, we are going to have something to do with what we have here. And just to make things simple, I'm going to store it. So this is what we are going to be printing. I'm going to call this uh, ints, we'll just say really random is equal to this because it's so general. Now, if we want to be specific, I'll do int specific random. And I'm going to set it equal to r dot next int. But inside of our parentheses right here, we are going to have our upper bound. It's good though to start with the lower bound because we're going to be basically going off whatever we have here. So if we want our bound to be between five and 10, we would do the following. So I'm gonna write also up here, bound between five to 10. So we only want to print out numbers between five and 10. We want to start at five. So we are going to do five plus, and we're gonna do five plus the next uh, thing right here. So it's gonna start at five, and then right here, well, we would not put 10. This would be incorrect. If we were to do this and we would run it, oh, we also need to print this out. So I'll copy this and print it in here. If we were to do this, um, we would see that we would get 10, right? We would get five, we get eight, we get 13 though. And we see that 13 is, well, it's not between five and 10. We see it's greater than 10. And the problem right here is that we have this five plus this 10. So really it's going from five to 15. So really what we're gonna want to do instead of having this 10 in here is we are gonna want to go five times because we have five plus what is equal to 10. Well, this would be five. So five plus five is 10. That's gonna give us our upper limit. Remember, this is our starting. We add these two together. It's gonna give us the upper. Now there is a slight problem because our r.nextInt is going to go up to this, but not include it. So it would go up to 10, but not include it. An easy fix for that is to add these two together and then just to add one to it. So this would be six. Now, if we were to run it again, we get seven, six, 10, and six, nine, nine, six, seven, six. And we don't go above 10 anymore. We can see that. And so now we know that this is how to create our bound. If we didn't want a lower bound, let's say we just wanted to go from zero to 10, well, we wouldn't include anything right here. And this would be need to change now, right? Because we're going from zero to 10, we would have zero plus six, that would only give us six in here. This then needs to become 11 because it goes up to, but does not include 11. So it'll go from zero to uh, 10. And if we run it, we can see that we get all of these things in here. 
So that is the super simple way on how to use the random class and set an upper and lower boundary for it.